In this video, we're looking at Mutual's MuLab 8. This is a powerful piece of audio recording software for music production, and it's fairly affordable. If you're looking for a DAW that's lightweight, includes a lot of instruments and effects, plus can handle MIDI sequencing and audio recording with no problems, keep watching as we review this interesting piece of music production software. Welcome to Simple Green Tech. I'm Radio Zane, and on this channel, I do audio tech tips, tutorials, and reviews to help you unleash your creativity. In today's video, we're going to be looking at a piece of audio production software that's kind of under the radar. It's Mutools MuLab 8. It comes with a lot of features like great sounding instruments and effects with hundreds of presets. So let's jump in and check out some of the features right now. First off, I want to say that this program takes up very little hard drive space. It's just 75 megabytes and it doesn't need to be installed. You just unzip it and run it from the folder. Personally, I like software that's lightweight like that. It means it's not bloated. First up, let's look at the layout of the screen. When you open MuLab, it should look something like this. We're in the Compose window and you can tell that because it's glowing blue right here. And you'll also see some other things here that are glowing blue. And this toggles on the browser window over here and the mixer down below. Now I'm going to leave it at the default setting for now. Usually I turn the browser off once I have everything loaded up into one of my projects, but I typically always leave the mixer up. I like to have a look at that while I'm recording and while I'm editing. You'll notice over here that there's an instrument track already loaded up. It's the basic synth rack. And if you want to change this synth, you can easily go over to the browser here, click on instruments and select one of these preset windows here. We'll go with bass and I think there's a real bass. Yeah, real bass. So then you would click, drag it over, let go, and now we've got a real bass. It's that easy. Now I'm going to add another track. This one will also be an instrument track. So you just click this plus sign right here, click add instrument track, and then this choose instrument window is going to pop up. And you go down to devices, instruments and I want to actually add the drum so I'm going to click on mute drum and you can see we have our drum machine here with your pads and right now it's empty so we want to load up one of the presets and you can do that by clicking here factory presets instruments and then you go down to mute drum and you can see we have 808 kit 909 kit ethnic kit rock kit special kit and starter kit and you can add your own sounds to create your own kit at any time. For this, I'm going to choose the rock kit. Now let's have a listen to what that sounds like. You can hear that there's a little bit of reverb here on the snare. And that's not bad, but say we wanna have it routed to a different rack. You have all of these racks down here that you can create. So we'll click the plus sign here. And now let's say we want to mangle the sound up a little bit like Trent Reznor of Nine Inch Nails. So we'll add an effect by going to factory presets, effects, and I want some distortion on there. So let's go to amp sim metal. You probably won't want to put this on drums for real, but for this, let's do it. And you'll see that the snare right now is routed to that reverb rack. To change this, we just click on this red dot here drag it down to this rack, and it's automatically being rerouted to here. So let's hear what that sounds like now. Let's also bring the kick drum into the amp metal sim. All right, that's pretty mangled. Some other things that you can do with each pad is when you click on it, you'll see start end. And if you want it to cut off kind of early, you could just drag that there and you'll hear that it's a shorter sound now. You can do that with any of these pads. So we're now ready to make a beat. 
Let's go to the timeline and we're going to hold down the control key on our computer keyboard. And you can see that the tool has now changed to the pencil tool. So let's draw in about four bars here. And now we have a sequence clip. We'll double click on that. And you can see all the drum names here. So let's just make a simple beat. Again, hold down control. And if you don't want to hold down control on your computer keyboard, you can always go down here, click the pencil, and it's always on. Okay, so we have our simple beat here. It's pretty mangled up, but it's just for this tutorial. So let's go back to our compose window. And we can now create a baseline for our beat. And we'll do the same thing. Hold down control on our computer keyboard. And we'll just click and drag to create a sequence clip here. Double click into it. And you can see you have your piano roll here. So you can actually draw in your notes. All right, let's hear what that sounds like together. And we can hear that our rock kit's a little bit too loud, so let's turn that down. All right, so this was just a quick beat and a quick bass line that we recorded, and we're only using a handful of the instruments and effects that come with Moolab 8. There's actually hundreds of presets for the instruments and the effects and way too much to get into in a quick video. I'm actually going to be doing several tutorial videos covering how to record MIDI, how to add VST instruments, because you can add your own VST library here and have hundreds and hundreds of plugins available to you in Moolab 8. So please be sure to subscribe to the channel so you'll see all those videos. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about Moolab 8. I'm actually really surprised about how great this software is and not a lot of people are talking about it. You can head over to their website, download it for free and use it in demo mode to see if it's for you. Click this video here to see what YouTube recommends you watch next and click this one here for my latest video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. For Simple Green Tech, I'm Radio Zane and we'll talk soon.